This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. To see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Let's begin the sample. Whether you're working with email or web servers or something that has to be accessed from the internet and it's on your internal network, an important concept to understand is internal DNS and external DNS. So the reason we have internal and external DNS is because your internal servers that are on your local area network are configured with internal IP addresses that are not routable on the internet. So they only work on your local area network like 192.168.6.5 which is the IP address of PHX Exchange 01. So I couldn't be out on the internet here and ping 192.168.6.5 and have that access PHX Exchange 01 because that IP address is for internal use only. And then we have public IP addresses that are routable on the internet. But we normally don't configure internal servers with public IP addresses. What we do is we have a firewall and we use network address translation so that a public IP address gets translated at the firewall to an internal IP address and then it gets sent to that internal IP address. So let's say I have a client here that's on our internal network PHX Desktop 01 that's trying to contact PHX Exchange 01. Well this computer is going to try to look up the domain name in the DNS server that it's configured for and it is configured to look at PHX DC 01 as its DNS server. Let's take a look at where that's configured. So I'm on PHX Desktop 01. Let's take a look at the network connections. I'll just right click on my Ethernet adapter, go to Properties. And I'll go down to IP version 4 and go to Properties. So you can see down here the DNS server, 192.168.6.100. This is PHX DC01, and this one right here, .101, that's PHX DC02. So normally we have multiple domain controllers and multiple DNS servers in our local area network. But this is what tells this computer where to try to resolve a domain name. So this computer here is trying to resolve PHX Exchange 01.itdvds.local to an IP address. So it asks this DNS server. This DNS server is going to look for at its A record for PHX Exchange 01. Let's take a look at it. Okay, I'm on PHX DC 01. Got my itdvds.local zone selected. I'll scroll down, and here it is, PHX Exchange 01, the A record, 192.168.6.105. So it'll return this IP address to PHX Desktop 01, and then PHX Desktop 01 will know how to contact PHX Exchange 01 directly. Now let's take the scenario where we're out on the Internet here, and this Gmail mail server is trying to contact the mail server for itdvds.com. Well, it's going to query an external DNS server. And that external DNS server cannot return an internal IP address like 192.168.6.5 because that's not routable on the Internet. So what we're going to do is configure the external DNS server with a public IP address that is configured on our firewall. And on our firewall... That public IP address is going to be network address translated to the internal IP address of, if it's trying to contact PHX Exchange 01, to that IP address, 192.168.6.5. So we couldn't have this mail server query our internal DNS server. First of all, it couldn't even contact it because we don't want our internal DNS server accessible from out on the Internet. But even if it could, again, it would return that internal IP address, and then the mail server couldn't find PHX Exchange 01 because it's an internal IP address, not routable on the Internet. And we'll continue this in Part 2.